You're, you're wrong. I, I, I never saw that. Maya? I thought the person that saw my mother was a man. For a totally different reason. What? Witness! Is this the right one? Is it? Stop your chattering, Roger. Chattering? Heh. <laughs> it's worth asking, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. By the way, I repeat it just like I repeated this cup of coffee. This is my 18th one now. Wait a minute, that doesn't make too much sense. What was it again? 1 plus 1 equals 2? Nah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Well then, let's continue with, let's continue with the testimony. Please tell us how you knew the killer was a man. Yes, you are right. I didn't listen until after I woke up, but... Um... Whee! When I came to, uh, I was just lying there on the training hall floor. By the time I got back to the garden, the place had totally changed. But you weren't, because you were being present anyway. The torches were lit, and the body was gone. Oh, the snow around the snow in my hand. Carefully cleaned up. Cleaned up, too. So the person did all that work alone. I just assume it's a man. That makes no sense. Also, you can't be because you've been possessed by person. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this was out of the kind of place that the witness came to think the killer was a man. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I feel like if we were to play, like, Daganrapa, we would tear the shit out of it. I don't even want to know what a Daganrapa is. So don't start. Well, you say! We all know the PSTV was a piece of shit because it couldn't run Sophie properly. Well, I found that the first two in the series can actually... Or actually available for the PS4. No. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. No. Not today. Oh, you want it today, huh? No. <laughs> That'll kill your throat. Yeah. No need to apologize. It's as Mr. Golo says. You look at any of us. It's only natural that you would be a little confused. Hmm. Also, if you consider the situation you described, it doesn't seem too much of a stretch to assume that the criminal was a man. Still makes no sense, but rest are right. But they their course of termination. Oh boy, having fun. No, that was a badly timed. <laughs> that was a badly timed part. Oh, I didn't even know. I, I think it. I think the camera picked it up, but oh well. Oh, if it did, I didn't. Okay. So you lost consciousness when you were in the garden. Oh wait, yeah, that's what we said earlier. Mm-hmm. Cause she's in the garden. Then the training hall, and then the sac the sacred cavern. Yeah. How did I get there? Yeah. So you lost consciousness when you were in the garden. Is that right? Yeah, I think. I think it's. I think it happened when the, the victim was stabbed. So the person that carried you into into the inner temple. Oh come! Only I've been the killer. Hmm. That's what I think too. So the killer killed... Killer killed Maya! <laughs> She's being channeled right now! So the killer carried Maya into the inner temple. Naturally, the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must be something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. Looks like she has to have enough confidence. I think I need to gather some more info before I ask her again. The torches were lit! Yes, that's how I noticed that the whole scene had changed. I'm gonna say it was the killer who lit the torches. I mean, who else could it be? The killer probably lit them since it would be impossible to do any cover up work in the dark. However, if that's true, it's one thing that still bothers me. Why did that killer go to the effort of moving the body? Well, that is true. It's hard to see how any of that would be advantage to the killer. The only one who would gain anything from that would be... the only person that was at the Inner Temple. 
Maya. Very well. Let me hear some more, some more about the condition of the crime scene. So you're saying that the killer cleaned up the snow? It did look really odd. The snow was removed in an unnatural looking rectangular shape around the lantern. Rectangle mangles? There are a lot of shovels around the inner temple. They're only really heavy. We do have for me to use. Oh, it's funny indeed, this killer. Why on earth would anyone to take the snow away? <laughs> well, there's one thing I can think of. Didn't you say that a lot of the victim's blood sprayed onto the snow? Yeah, very close to it being splattered. In other words, the killer's purpose was to hide the bloody snow. I think that's the most reasonable explanation. Hmm, <clears throat> perhaps. But then... But then the lantern... Did, then the lantern wouldn't have a blood on it. And Godot can't see... Oh... Oh boy. Oh no... This game is awful. <laughs> You've already said this enough as it is. Oh, this game is so bad. However, there is something but that is bothering me. If the killer just wanted to hide the snow with blood on it, there was no need to remove that amount. That's true. You could have stirred up just the snow as well as stained with blood. Yeah, if unless you couldn't, couldn't see it. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. I was right. This was a sip. This was a slippery slope. I want to go back to my dance games. It's more sane there. Uh, Charles Barkley, shut up and jam, guy. <laughs> what? Nothing. But I think this will help explain them. I like a lot of zombies in there. So, you're saying that you never saw the killer, right? Yeah. But earlier, you very clearly stated that. You saw a man behind your attacker. Nick, I'm sorry. The killer certainly went through a lot of trouble. Holding the body by pendulum, manipulating the crime scene. But what for, for what purpose? Why do all that? Maybe Maya knows more than she's letting on. We reverse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with this again. Torches were lit, body is gone. All the snow around the start clean up too. Prone just did, I just assume it was a man. So, we got for evidence, the badge. Go the other Mega way. Tama. Go from the other way. Oh. Just faster. Stone Lantern. It's not, nothing in it. Dusky Bridge. Check in the morning after the thing happened. Dagger. Oh, uh, found stuck in, oh, yeah. Blood doesn't match the victims. Burnt ladder. Burnt ladder. Hmm. Crane master's talisman. Crystal sphere. Larry sketch. Crane photo. Nothing. That's useless. Mm -hmm. This is probably useless too. Yeah, this is not good. That's useless. Mm -hmm. That's probably not going to be any help. That's not gonna be any help. That's not gonna be any help. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, well, okay, let's try this again. Well, let's see what we have for people. Maybe they'll say something. No? No. 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 Seems to know me somehow. Hmm. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Nada. You know. Mirde. Hmm. Go through everything again? Snow around the lantern had been carefully cleaned up. There's nothing to say that we... There's nothing to object to that. Torches are lit. Can't really say anything about that. Well, can we just do what we said we... What we just said, like the whole thing about he can't see the thing? Wait, look, like, all the snow around the stone lantern cleaned up, carefully cleaned up, too, but the stone lantern itself was Wait, that's great. not careful. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna save anyways. What are you, a didgeridoo? 
Uh, Let's do it! So, present person? No, it's the stone engine. The... Uh, oh. Now. No? Okay, then another statement. Um, uh, come to the I thought... Oh, shit. Ow. I don't think that won any points with the judge. Maybe this statement. No. Whatever. Yes. No. no. That's not it. So I guess we're gonna try another one. Body was gone, tell me what I came to. Maybe Nothing pressed, objectionable about maybe that. Press state, another statement. A statement again? Oh yeah, there was something that we had to ask her about once we had more info. <laughs> I'm gonna load. Yay. <laughs> Thanks two steps forward, think one step back, and then think off a cliff. <laughs> think off a cliff. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which statement it was though. Uh, uh, clean up. Clean up. This one? Yeah. This thing is so clear. A little bit. It was unnatural. Real, uh, real heavy. Mm -hmm. Couldn't use them. A fellow this color. Water up and takes him away. Well, there's one thing I can say. I did say a lot of victims' blood. Yeah, there's a lot of victims' blood. Another large, that was a lot of blood. Alright, there's something about If the color doesn't want to have a snow on blood on it. There's no new moon, uh, that's true, you can just go that was a thing. Looks like there's some words there, but I think this will be helpful to explain them. Not that statement then. Okay, now let's try more. Let's try this statement. Or just lit. lit. Yeah. Yes, that's how I noticed it. I'm going to say it was the killer who lit the torches. I mean, who else could it be? The killer probably if that's true, bothering why the killer after removing the body. Why did you move the body? There would be nothing in it, friend Maya. Uh, Very well, let me hear some more about the condition of the thing. So we got one more back. Actually, oh, oh, I shit. can't skip. You shit. <laughs> yes, I think so. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. Mm, I... The truth is, when I saw the crime scene, I felt something. You did? Yeah, I felt like the killer was hiding the evidence for me. For my sake. What? Hiding it for you? I only knew that I was the only one in the inner temple that night. If Sister Bikini had come back and looked at the garden... She may have thought that you had done it. No, she definitely would have thought so. You're saying that's why the killer cleaned up the crime scene to make it look like nothing had happened? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Well, that's certainly an important piece of information. Why don't you add that to your testimony? <sighs> Is this where we... I say that I uh, uh, But if she was, then why would it be Maya left? I'm gonna press it, just in case. Yeah! You did for your sake. Well, if the body and the blood hadn't been removed, I would have immediately been a princess pick, right? Yes, I suppose that's true. Yeah, if that happened, the body would have caused some other problems, too. If her real identity had come out right then, it would have been terrible. <gasps> Master of the Crane, killed by own daughter! Ta -da. I don't think Maya would have been able to handle it. Boo. But still, it's rather difficult to fathom the killer's motives. What reason is there to go through that much trouble to protect you? Come on. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna save again. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this game sucks. This game sucks. Rushing blink. Can't come in, don't. I'm not playing that again today. Shit. Present this. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, shit. There we go. The body of Elise Dunham was carried all the way to the Zachary Temple's courtyard. Then at the garden, the real scene of the crime. The snow that we suspect was covered in blood was scooped up and removed. 
It's reasonable to believe all this was done in an attempt to hide the true scene, the true crime scene. Nice. However, there's still one matter that seems to be somewhat odd. Oh? What would that be? You must have figured it out by now, Mr. Goto. It's the message written in blood on the lantern. Yeah. It was written very clearly on the white stone lantern. Maya. Ooh. If the killer was so motivated to protect Maya from suspicion, then why didn't he wipe the writing off the lantern? Oh, you're right! Order, order, order. But, Mr. Wright, isn't it, the fact, isn't it the fact that a killer was trying to cover up the crime scene? Indeed, but it doesn't make much sense to move the body and remove the bloody snow. Then not wipe out the most incriminating thing of all, the bloody writing. Huh. <laughs> but that's the case. Do you have an explanation for the killer's mysterious behavior? Maybe because he couldn't see the color red or something? <laughs> oh, this killer moved the body and removed all that snow. But then leave the blue right in the lantern. I don't know what the killer's plan was, but it's a fact that the killer left the writing on the lantern. There must be a reason for it. Well then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your opinion. Why did the killer leave the message in the in blood on this lantern? Obviously. Yep, we're going this route. Yeah. Prosecutor Goto, early in this trial you gave me some good advice. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Maybe you know it's dumb, Seth. Oh, thanks. The real killer wanted to disguise the fact that a crime occurred here. Fair. No one cares. <laughs> if that's the case, they wouldn't have left some bloody writing on there on purpose. Therefore, it must mean that they didn't notice it. But that doesn't make any sense. The touch is all lit and everything. There's no way a normal person would be sending a clearing as that. You're right. There's no way any normal person would. But what if their name started with the G? Then all of a sudden the answer becomes clue anyway. There's only one person involved in this incident. Who could have missed seeing the bloody writing altogether? Who would that be? Who is this oh fuck you? Fuck you. Yep, we're go we're really hammered in now. Just to make sure you know you know what path you're taking. Mr. Gato, this is what you said yesterday. My set is pretty messed up, if I do say so myself. I mean look how many fingers I'm putting out. What, seven? <laughs> mm -hmm. You can see everything! Is that correct, Mr. Gato? This lantern was submitted as evidence today. I'd like the court to think back to the moment it was first presented. This lantern? There's something written on it! Let's put my reading glasses on! Hmm, it says blood! What? That's ridiculous! There's no way those letters spell blood! It's obviously dueled! Mr. Goto, just admit it. There are certain colors you can't see, correct? You can't see red on a white background, can you? That's right. We went through this once before. During the poisoning case at Trebian. This is the apron of delightful Miss Bird. <laughs> <coughs> There's one fine smell of coffee and ketchup and shit like that. But I don't really care. This is just a So can we just get on with this? Like, you know. Oh, I see a problem here. This should be all white. But for some reason, there are other colors on it. Other colors? What other colors? All I see are Color! I am lost. I am so lost while I'm going on there. Don't play video games! Shut the Wii off right now! Close the PlayStation 2! Don't fight the next boss, please! Thank you! That's ridiculous! I gotta finish Metal Gear somehow! Jesus Christ. Why did you make me play this game? 
Because we played the other two. Shit! You could see the coffee on the white apron. Because, you know, it's coffee. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't see the ketchup. Because it was red. Huh! <laughs> it's strange. And bucket in a black and white photo that especially appeared black to me. I wonder, why am I the only one who can't see them? So, so then, Mr. Godo, are you admitting it? Are you admitting that you couldn't see the red wedding on the letter? No. Uh. Hey, Grapes. Didn't you know? That's the reason I don't drink red tea. What? He doesn't drink tea, that's the joke. Oh. I wasn't sure about it until now, but... I just can't believe it. I don't believe it! Prescue to is the murderer? But... There's no going back now. I finally figured out the truth. Mr. Godo. The defense at this time formally accuses you. You are the murderer of Miss Lee Stoneham, also known as Miss Misty Fay. It's hard to believe this may be true. However, uh, once again, Mr. Ray has brought up a disquieting fact about you. Huh. Just make sure you don't fill up the dungeon in red ink grips. Come on, why does a little graffiti make me into the killer? Because it's not like it's my, it's my name that's in there. I'm certain that the killer wasn't able to see the color red. This is rich. Do go on, Trey. The answer's right there on the crime scene. Snow. In the snow. Damn it. I was guessing, but I just blurred out and it was like, oh, damn it. The snow? Oh, so. Well, for example, why did the killer move all that snow? Your Honor, you said it yourself. If they wanted to hide the bloody snow, why not take out just that area? Yes, why didn't they take out just the area? Ah! C could it be? Yeah. The killer couldn't see the red blood that had seeped into the snow. And so he had to remove all of it. He couldn't be sure where the blood had landed, so he just removed the whole area. No, isn't it more likely that the killer couldn't see the blood because it was dark? Not a chance. The torches were all lit. They would have... They would have been able to see fine. Seems... Once again, this trial has taken an unexpected turn, to say the least. And now we're back to... And now we're done. Now we're driving the way back from where we came from. And so we made four U-turns. Back to square one. Yes. Can you explain this, Mr. Godot? Maya. Maya, no. Wait. Just a minute. Just wait a minute. Maya? What is that witness? Mr. Godo isn't a killer. After all, he didn't even come to the inner temple. Until two days after the murder took place. He didn't show up until the after the old bitch got fixed up. Objection. Maya. Can't testify to something like you can't testify to something like that. What, what, what do you mean? I may not look at it, but I'm Whatever the murder happened. You didn't even exist. Shit. Shit. There then! I'm afraid I don't follow. Have you seen that old man? We just established this just a little while ago. Come on, it was five minutes ago. We were just, we were here, we were talking to each other about... Sex offenders. <laughs> God damn it. After the murder, this woman was in cousin for a long time. Because she was killing Dolly Hawthorne. Oh, right. Please, Your Honor, let me answer my testimony. Nick, please listen to me. Maya, do you plan to cover for Godo no matter what the cost? If that's the case, then I've got no choice. Your Honor, let's hear her testimony. If it means we're going to hear the whole truth, I say we should not silence her. Kill her! Kill her! No, no, nothing. No. Huh, that's the dead choice. Very well, let's hear the choice in his testimony. Please tell us what happened to in the temple after the Muda. Muda. Muda Muda. Muda 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 Muda. No. 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 
No. Come back later when you've gotten better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. After I woke up, I became channeling. I left my spirit, and my spirit left me, as it were. But that little girl was there at the temple, too. She's pinning him on pearls as the murderer because literally magic. Oh, dear. Pilly was also stuck on the inner temple side that night. Jesus Christ, Maya. Next morning, she looked around, but couldn't find anyone. You're supposed to be kidding, goddammit. The next day, when the bridge was finally fixed, she was in the spare pep room. This is when Mr. Good arrived in the inner temple for the first time. Found Pilly first, and then she heard her right up. But you were... Okay, whatever. Who is this party? That's my little cousin. Pearl Faye, isn't she cute? Hmm, <laughs> so when did you hear about this? Oh, she does look cute. Oh, uh, just a while ago, when I was in the medical office. I'm terribly sorry. But what you heard from someone else is simply not admissible as testimony. What? Come on! Pearl would never tell a lie. Do we want on this person that I'll be? Maya, that's not something you should advertise. Oh, I'm out. It's almost like she's being tested. Real smart, Maya. You always know the best things to say when you're under oath. <laughs> oh, how fun this video game is. Uh, prosecution has no objection. We believe the witness. Mr. Godo! Let's just move on to the first examination, please. Defense has no objections. This is highly unusual, but when is the right? Let's get this cross examination started. No. Okay. I'm singing the Cheetahman thing. Uh, nah, this is a Mortal Kombat now. Shit! Someone's gonna pull out someone's heart oh, and then crush it. The Cheetah Man. It's a, it's a meme in Japan too. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Please kill me. Cheetah Man. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, God damn it, Action 52. <laughs> why do you? Why did you have to exist? I don't know why. So where do you think Pearl slept that night? It was spare pepper next to the train hall, I guess. It's well that you can't enter the training hall during Agbite training. But even so, why did she go to the inner temple in the first place? It seems that Pearls became very worried about Maya. She knew that the spiritual training... Oh, that's me. She knew that the spiritual training was I was about to go into Pearls very intense. Sorry, I burned the script again. Just like Pearl burn... Oh. 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 Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Pearls was supposed to channel Dahlia Hawthorne, but she couldn't do it. That's why she headed to the Inner Temple. However, Dahlia Hawthorne was already there, possessing the body of Elise Donum. She searched the entire Inner Temple side at side and end. Well, you see, uh, Pilly gets pretty scared when she's alone. There weren't that many places to look. She said that she even went back and forth several times. The inner temple site has two structures. The training hall and a spare prep room. There's also a storage shack, I think. That's about it. There was a storage shack, too? Rose was looking for other people, right? Would she have really examined a storage shack all that carefully? Mm. Well, if it was me, that would be the first place I'd investigate. Hmm. I mean, it's possible that someone may have been hiding in the storage shack. <sighs> Rose didn't hear the sound of them working on the bridge. Hmm. What do you mean? I was just wondering why she would choose to stay in the prep room. If it was me, I'd at least go out and wait, wait at the foot of the bridge. Oh, uh, well, Pretty said she was sleeping at the time. She said she was skipping the night. But she didn't sleep and woke up a bunch of times. Poor little girl. I don't like that. Well, we know what she did. Well, we know that she had at least one friend in the sacred cavern. Dolly Hawthorne was busy battling with a trick lock. She couldn't let anyone see her. So she wouldn't have shown herself to Pearls. What happened after the bridge was finally fixed?
So it was your first time on the Air Temple side, Mr. Goto. Hmm. That's funny. Am I imagining things, or did the fence ask me a question? Mr. Wright, please have your questions for the witness. What you heard from someone else is simply not admissible to as testimony. Those are your words, Your Honor. Touche, Mr. Wright. <laughs> oh well. What do you have to say, Mr. Goto? <laughs> Hot nights and even honey coffee. That's all we say. That's what I just said. If I hadn't been, if I hadn't been for this case, I'd never visit there. A freezing cold temple in the mountains. I think I'll pass. So you'd never visit Herzaka Temple or the Inner Temple, huh? <laughs> you wanna say something, Trey? In any case, I have to find a crack in Goda's armor. While I cross examine Maya, that is. He's never been to that place. Very well. Please go home with your testimony. After fixing that bridge, please make cave over to Inner Temple site, right? Yes. Then you should go now. Found Pearl and Shooter, right? Up. But no, oh, that was him. He cheered her up. That's what Pearl said. She, she said she has a very nice older gentleman. Thank you for looking after my cousin, Mr. Godow. You are worse than you are, nothing more than a coffee addict. Ah! No, I'm just a coffee addict. Good luck. You make me blush. And I can't see it. This guy's really starting to get on my nerves. In more ways than one. Truth is, truth is there aren't that many places to look on the inner temple side. Please meant while this girl, the car will find tooth comes. So I decided to carry that investigation in my own way. Go to the style. I'm the same. I'm the same way. I like to hand out your dicks on my own way. Judge style. Hmm. Maybe I should ask some questions. Phoenix style. Yay! Go to his investigation. You sure? Meh. Yeah. 